Hi, I'm Brad. This is my Arduino based remote controlled DIY shop air cleaner. Stick around to see how I made it. Here's a look at the design I made in SketchUp before I started construction. You can see the sides where the furnace filters will go. This is the box fan that goes in the front. The frame is made out of two by twos that are rabbited and then mitered in the corners. And then the rest of the box is skinned with some thin plywood. So I've already cut my 2x4s down to 2 foot rough lengths. The first thing I'm going to do is rip the rounded edges off all of them. Okay, now that all the blanks for the frames are cut down to one and a half inch square, we're going to cut in a rabbit which will hold the furnace filter. Now this is precisely three quarters of an inch thick, and so I'm going to cut a rabbit in that deep and that wide, but I am going to leave a little bit of allowance in the depth for some foam weather stripping that I'll put in there to make sure that it's a good, a fairly good positive seal around the, the filter. So I'm going to cut this in, again a little bit deeper than three quarters of an inch in the first pass. I'm going to go with seven eighths inch deep. I'm going to bring that over to three quarter inches wide. Okay, let's cut the curves out. Okay, so next up we're going to start cutting the 45s in all these. I've got them all marked because if I didn't, I'm sure that I would feed them through their own, at the wrong angle. So this should keep me from making mistakes. So I've got my anchor miter gauge set up, got the blade turned to, down to 45 degrees, and I'm going to go through and make the first cuts on the first end of this, and then we'll set up a uh, stop block and make the rest of the cuts. Here we go. Okay, so I took the one of the first ones, I crept up on the cut to make sure that it was a proper fit. And once I got that set, I went ahead and clamped one of the one of the 45 degree off cuts on here and used it as a stop block. So I'm now set up and ready to cut the rest of the frame pieces. So the next step is to assemble the two frames. Now the filters are square, which means the frames are square, which means that all four pieces are identical. So I don't have to worry about lining up uh, two together that are verticals and two that are horizontals. They're all identical. So um, I don't think I can mess this up. So I'm gonna get some glue together 
run some brad nails in it to hold it while it's drying and uh, move along. Okay, now that the frames are done, the next thing we're going to do is start skimming the outer sides of the box. Now, I'm going to cut the top, bottom, and rear of the enclosure out of this leftover scrap 8-inch uh, Luan flooring or underlayment uh, because nothing on the top sides or bottom, top, back, or bottom, is load-bearing in any way. So I want this to be as light as possible since I'm going to hang it from the ceiling. So again, light material is best here. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this down to 20 and a half inches wide, which is the, the outer dimensions width of my box fan. So that matches up properly. So before I move the fence uh, for the next cuts, I'm going to go ahead and cut the front panel, which will hold the fan. Now this does not need to be heavy duty. Um, I'm using some leftover 7 16 It's kind of garbage grade scrap plywood. Uh, most of that will get cut out so that the air can move through where the back of the fan is. So I'm not worried about some of the knots and other kind of defects in it. Um, and again, this is overkill for what I really need, but I have it on hand. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to cut that down. Okay, I've got my fence reset over to 21 and 3 eighths, which is the length of the outer box side. So this will be the vertical uh, cut, the width on the front where the fan attaches. And then once I get this cut, I'll go ahead and cut down the little one to size as well. Okay, with the panels all cut, I've got my fan that I'm going to be using for the blower for this. Obviously, I've taken the uh, grates off of it and got the fan in here. I've already stripped the, the uh, switch and some of the wiring out of it too, but I'm going to trace this pattern onto the plywood so that I can cut the hole out so the air will pass through. So I'll go ahead and do that now. see that the blue line here what that shows in the camera is the inner border of the steel frame and I stayed in from that you know, I was worried about too, being too precise but um, anywhere from a quarter to maybe three-eighths around there because the fan diameter that the blades move within is not as big as the this outer size so um, it doesn't need to be precisely along that so now I will uh, so let's lay this down, test fit the fan body on it, and that looks pretty good.
Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and, and uh, move on. Now, um, before I start assembling this, This fan, so it had a the switch on top of it. This was the speed control as well as the off. There are holes in the bottom for uh, feet, legs to go in here. And then there's just other random kind of punch holes and I have no idea why they're there. And then there's also the handle, which I'm going to just gonna take that out now because I don't need that. So these are all holes and I don't know how much it's going to affect the airflow, but I'd rather not let any more air than necessary come in through these holes as opposed to the filters, which is the, in the end the purpose of the, this whole thing. So I'm going to go get some epoxy and I'm going to use some tin flashing and uh, I'm going to patch these holes up before we move on. So I'm going to go get that stuff. That's the end of this part of the video. Thanks for watching and please click the link below to watch the next section of video.